Well, hello everybody. I said it today. I already said it today. And now it's now it's here. I said it. What? Well, hold on. I said it back and back on Tuesday, and now it's finally here. The video that you were expecting. Titans Return Six Shot. It's a really great design, really. I already unboxed them like almost a month ago. But you got this. You got his little box set and his whole thing here. He got like <clears throat> the whole box thing. I know the box what I got was terrible, but everything else is pretty much okay. And these are his original his initial six modes, and the head like splits off and becomes like a Titan Master, which is a headmaster, basically. And um this is his six shots robot mode, this is his tank mode. This is his jet mode. This is his um, submarine mode. This is his car mode. This is his wolf mode. And yeah, that's his robot mode again. And that's Six Shot's head. With the box out of the way, hold on. Um. I'm glad that you guys. I hope you guys go out and see Transformers 1. I think. It's a pretty. Oh, uh, uh, <clears throat> so this is um, six shots transformation schematics. I just wanted to show this to you, real quick, before we get on to the actual thing. And after this, let's now talk about the next thing. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, it's right here. Hold on a second. We got his little tag. I got his tag right here. Six shot by Hasbro. Hold on. Um, is this right? No, it's not right. This, these are his stats. These are his little stats. If you want to take a look at this real quick, um, okay. out of the way, let's start getting out the figure. But first, let me deal with this feline real quick. Come on, kitty. Come on. Go on. Hold on. Hold on. The feline is coming. Oh, he's looking at the camera. He's looking at the camera, is he? Huh? He's looking at the camera, kitties. Kitty, 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 Okay. Okay, good now. Come on. <clears throat> okay. Is that all the way? Let's take a look at let's take a look at at the Decepticon 6 Weapons of Mass Destruction. And Ninja Consultant Cowboy Assassin. Six shot. He's really not. He, his arms are. His arms are pretty okay. These hands don't like rotate around because of the, the design. And his legs. These. Really. Um. It, they like click when they uh, move up and down, but they are pretty normal when they actually do this. The back is fine. His head doesn't turn up or down. His head doesn't really do that, no. But his head does flip open. 
I can do this. I can pull this guy out. Hold on. Got him. And he changes into this. A Titan Master. Named Revolver. This is Revolver's name. Revolver. He is a Titan Master for Six Shot. We'll get him out of the way. And we'll do the first, um... Transforms. Okay, well, I want to clarify this real quick. I have actually, actually invented like seven or maybe six more. Mo I developed like seven custom modes for this character. I want to show these after I show the main six. So, um, keep it tuned because after I get done with the, the six mode, we're going to talk about those next seven. So, I'm going to. I'm gonna like uh, you have to like push the arms down We're gonna like oh yeah really good here Then we like twist these to to these angles I'll flip up one of the um, legs flip these le these feet down we'll bend this over. Then I'll flip these around this arm. You see this? I do it like this. You know, like We clip these two together. Oh, let me grab these guns. Let's see here. So you want to put this, like these guns, in their respectable position where they have to, they're meant to go. So for. This one, you have to, like. You have to like put it here on this uh, on this side, and then for this one, you do the same on the others on the other wing. All right, then you take the two you yeah, then flip the two wings out. And then you have his starfighter jet mode. You then have star six shots starfighter. Jet mode. It flies, it does this, it does that. It's kind of like a good jet. And also, there's like a skid here. A skid right here that comes out. There we go. See that little black piece right here? That's where the skid is. Yeah, the arms are slightly wobbly, but they're not that wobbly. But it's it's a good thing. So what does the what does the next vehicle look like? I'm gonna call this a Starfire Jet though. I'm calling this thing a Starfire Jet, a Starfire type jet from Star Wars.
And so, um... <clears throat> I'm gonna, we're gonna like, um, detach the wings, we're gonna, this is, this is the figure without the wings, by the way, without the guns, I meant, not without the wings, I have bad vocabulary, so now we're gonna like, we're gonna like, unfold the, the little front section, Tie them back to their degrees. these back open in order to extend these out. Also, we're going to take this little section here, this up section, and fold the wings in. We're going to take these little sections and we're going to, and then, oh, we're going to do the same thing for this thing. Uh, And take the um, guns. Fold them here, word. Then you get his car mode, but, I'm, but for the sake of the back, I'm actually going to call this an SUV in my opinion. So we got six shots SUV mode. He's got some good roll. But he's doing pretty good. It's a great... It's a really great thing. I want to point out too that um, this little wheel right here comes out so easily. It's a wonder it's even staying on. The guns do swivel and rotate ho um, horizontally, but not vertically. But there is another. There are. There are. There is another, or in my case, also two other vehi ground vehicular alternate modes that can do something similar. This is great, I guess. Yeah, his his little front here. He can charge at good speeds and ram at something. He can like ram at something and then change directions and hit something else, hit or hit something else, blah blah blah, etc etc. Yeah, it's like a good... He's a great turner. He's great at turning, too. So great, actually. So, now, what if you're asking, what does his tank mode look like? Well, well I'm gonna flip these open. I'm gonna remove the gut, remove the, the blasters. I'm gonna, like, take the... I'm gonna... Wait, 
Wait, I forgot. <laughs> Hold on. Um. Okay. You you want to put the, these little guns on the feet, on the legs, for a reason. I'll get to that. Don't worry. Okay, so, um, you have to... You have to, like... Hold on. You have to like take the wheel. You have to take the wheels and turn them in different directions, and you have to pull the treads out. You see these little black things? They're the treads. You have to pull them out. Do the same thing here. See what I'm doing? You have to like push the thing back in. You you have to push the lower arm back in. Then you turn it that direction this direction right here and then you take his tread and then you down there and then you got that okay so now we're gonna like flip the wings back a little bit we're gonna like uh, unconnect the um the legs bring the, so we can bring the turrets out and then we're gonna like Okay, so you have to like flip them downward and okay, then from there, I guess, voila, that's his, this is his tank mode, specifically a um, double turret with its own individual barrel with a, with a visible cockpit kind of tank mode. It kind of works similar to an artillery tank. Or a missile one at that. But it's a tank. And I can explain that further by a special feature I can just very well put into it. I can, uh. <laughs> what? Did I bring the wings out? I did. I certainly brought the wings out, didn't I? <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't have, it doesn't really have a lot of roll, but it does roll. Let me make sure the treads are in place. So that everything rolls smoothly. Hey, it's not rolling very smoothly here, but I'm trying. It doesn't roll very well. But there is like a there is like a roll piece for it right below here. And these also help it roll around. And the, the, the turrets go up and down, up and down, but not horizontally. They only go up and down, unlike the other way around, which they go um, horizontally instead of vertically. Now let's take a look at um, the next one. The Winged Wolf. So we're gonna 
take his little turrets. We're going to merge them together for later. We do it like uh, this. See these little tabs? See these two? That's where I fuse them together. Okay, so now we're going to get... Um, we're going to like... Turn the wings, or like fold up the wings. Hold on here. We're gonna like take out these claws on the wheel on the arm section. Okay, and then we we'll take this, we flip this tail down, we flip the head, we we'll flip the head out, and then put the tail in, or the tail guns in, and then you get his wolf mode. There's a little gap in his little thing here. So I'm going to use this figure. I'm going to put him in here. See this? This figure fills a gap. Not that I even care about it anyway. Normally, Six Shot is a wolf, but for my custom character based on Six Shot's body type, um, this character would actually be a cat crow hybrid, a cat with a um, a cat with a cat, a mixture of a cat head with the cat with the cat feline type, and also a crow with a crow, a crow head with the wings, and possibly also the feet, but I don't really know about that one though. It's just a, basically a cat with crow wings, and the head can and the head's mouth can also be opened. With the, I'll open it with this, with this little thing here. Okay. See that right here? The head opens. The head opens! He says, time for the next mode. Wait, hold on a second. Am I doing this right? Hold on a second. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to remove the head. That's why. Ah. Okay, that's that's good. We're gonna turn him back into his little master form. And then we're gonna like flip this back out. And we're gonna like merge these together. Now, 
Pull it up. We're gonna turn these arms around. And then we're gonna, uh, And grab these little guns again. Use them back together. Along here. And then you have six shots dum 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 submarine mode. Yeah, he's a submarine now. And you might be saying, hey, clean Murph. Six shot isn't a, isn't a that's not six shot isn't a submarine and you would be correct, but he is now. But I have a man I have addressed that in my customs version in this customs in my custom setup. He can be a sub he can be both a submarine and what I'm going to show you later on in the video. But this is the submarine version. He could like he could like go underwater and. And surf around, you can surf surface in the sea and go around drive in the sea and do all that stuff. The Autobot initially water and other liquid substances were the only thing Autobots could get away from six shot with. They can't really do that now anymore. Because you can just follow them in the water and you won't have any real problem with it. It it might not work very well toy wise, but hey, it's perfectly fine. It's fine by me at least. So now that we have all the um hold on, I wanna go off some features real quick. Um the the front that forms the SUV slash car um it would also basically be the front for the submarine. I guess you if you really want to take fill in gaps right here you could just take six shots head and plug it in here but what's the point yeah like it the head did what's the point what's the point So with, uh, oh yeah, the, the the thing basically is like a, the front here is like a front, like an upper wing for the submarine, basically. And the, and the head also forms the, helps them, helps the wings form together. So with this all brought together, what, now that we have all six, all, all five alternate modes um, picked out, all discussed, what does the what what are you talking about when you say seven additional alternate modes? Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm going to now discuss. I have actually invented, I actually managed to invent seven additional alternate modes or five additional alternate modes. For this figure. So we're going to take a look at what each of them are. Alternate mode number seven coming up. You like, you take the wings, you take the submarine fins, 
you bring them back down, you're supposed to bring them back down, and then you're supposed to take these, and you're supposed to flip the wheel sides to their corresponding positions. Okay. You flip out the, um, this part out again. You take these wings, you fold them back into place for the jet mode. You, you certainly take the um, fin, the little landing gear here, and you bring it down. You bring it out. And then you have a flying helicopterial helicopter. This is one of the custom modes I invented. The quad rotor helicopter. Four helicopter rotors. Yes, they, I know, they are wheels, but hey, let's say the wheels can also turn into helicopter rotors and help with helicopter blades. Tires look sim act similarly to helicopter rotors. So why not this, right? Why not this? A helicopter, a quad rotor helicopter. This is the cockpit, just like the jet. This here is the cockpit, as, uh, as it's also the cockpit for the jet. Not too bad. A flying helicopter. It like hovers in place, it like does strafe runs. It does a lot of stuff. And you might be th and it's it's similar but the it's similar to the jet but the wing but the guns aren't attached to the wings they're instead attached to the bottom up here. And there's a landing and the landing gear usually always sticks out. But it's similar to the jet but it's basically slower, but has a lot more firepower because these little guns are out. These little extra guns are out. So you now might be thinking, well, is this the only additional custom ultra mode I created? Well, no, it's not. There is actually another one. And again, these little barrels, they stay in place. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fold this out we're gonna like fold the wings down down like like this I'm gonna take the arms bring the treads down we're gonna like get them into the tire position but we're gonna bring the treads down too. This down. We're gonna attach the um. So you want to do it like this. You want to like have the tires out, but also have one and have the big tread out at the same time. It's a custom alternate mode, so don't expect it to work all the time. But. go and then we're gonna take these little guns here we're gonna flip them back in take those um, uh oh those, take these last two things and we're gonna fuse them together right here You like do it like that, and then you have what I call a 
weird kind of bullet train. It's a bullet train, guys. It's a bullet train. That's how it, how it actually work. Actually, it's it would work like a it would serve as a bullet train. This alternate mode would serve as a bullet train. Like you see, oh oh no 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 no! I forgot one of the treads. There we go. Now it looks completely like a bullet train. It looks similar to a bullet train or kind of like drag car, but I'll call it a bullet train because there's already a car-like vehicle in this section. So, basically, the um the wheels or the big tires would hold the would hold the vehicle hold the bullet train in the place of a train track, and the treads would actually would um help the vehicle move while on the track. And this would be the fastest vehicle, one or one of the two fastest vehicles in this robot type, in this format's um, configurary. It's got some good roll. It's not good at rotating, but, you know. It still works as good as it does. It's similar to the car, but the guns are here as, yeah. But it's got some good roll with the wheels and the treads together. But it's, it's okay nonetheless. So for the next custom alternate mode, um... I'm going to, like, remove the treads, like, stick them up, I'm going to remove the gun set, take them apart for use in later, I'm going to flip these guys out. I'm going to pull the arms up here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got to take the legs, separate them. I'm gonna like bring the feet out on these legs here. Then I'm gonna take these guns. this and then you get what's called an armored infantry vehicle mode it's similar to the tank mode but the but the or, but the original artillery tur artillery turrets are moved backwards the treads are converted into wheels so that there's additional roll and the guns are over here and possibly even I can have these sticking out. Though, who am I really kidding? This is called an ar I would call this an armored personnel carrier or a like ground combat vehicle. With with wheels instead of treads. It's similar to the tank, but it's more of like a typical frontward assault kind of vehicle. 
it works. And it works pretty well. It's got a good roll, but not as good of a roll as the SUV. But hey, it turns well. And hey, I'm all. Uh, never mind. Okay. Oh, um, these um these turrets do move horizontally while these move vertically. So it can basically hit in all it can hit in all angles. In all in almost all directions except the back. That's where the vehicle is most vulnerable. So now what's the next mode? Well it's another beat the next mode is going to be yet another beast mode. But one that you're gonna be probably surprised and you're gonna think, hey, were you thinking stupidly when you were coming up with this mode? Well you might think so. But we're going to discuss this, the next mode here, here and now. We're going to take... Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, so I guess the, the guns are pretty good with where they are. We're going to flip these down. We're going to, like, pull the, the guns down. We're going to, like, take them. And we're going to, like, bring them back into place. We're gonna like pull that um that landing gear back out because it's gonna serve as a as a kind of leg thingy, if you can call it that. And then we're gonna like bring this back into position where it's supposed to be, right here for a car or something. But we're gonna have it stretched out. And then you wanna. Hold on. Am I doing this right now? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. So then you take the um, the wing, the wing front, the wing bow out, and you pull it back into its original spot. Then we're gonna like <clears throat> tip the whole thing backwards, up, up, upside down here, and then, and then we're gonna like flip this arm out, treads, this. Okay, and now we're gonna like flip this head out. Flip this thing like this thing does this. So you want to do that? Then flip out the claws again. And voila! Another beast! Something I like to call an aquatic scorpion. Yeah, you got me right. Aquatic scorpion. I know. It's pretty terrible. It looks awful, but still looks like a scorpion to me. A scorpion with guns!
but it's fine nonetheless. No, this thing doesn't like go up or down, but you could like do this where you could do that, like hit something with a sting. Okay. But the, the tail doesn't really move very well. But it does move, basically. It like it just it's just how, how the design works. This is how the scorpion design really, really, really could really work. And the head here is basically like flipped upside down, and it, it's meant to resemble a scorpion head of a kind. But I guess like these little cir- uh, yeah. The head could be opened, but just take a look at it. Hold on. Done. That's not a good head, is it? <laughs> you would certainly agree that this is the better kind of head for a scorpion. And the claws are designed here to look reminiscent to that of uh, scorpion pincers. Even though they don't have another pince right here. Well, that's why I decided to just call it an aquatic scorpion. It's kind of like a fish scorpion. So with all these custom alternate modes out of the way, with the exception of one left, there is one left, we're going to get into two special modes and one last custom mode, but also very special simultaneously. So we're going to flip up the claws. We're going to remove, we're going to flip up, but on this. Well, we're going to keep his head out. We have to keep his head out. We're going to flip these down. We're going to like pull him. We're going to like pull these a wordish a bit. Then remove the guns again. I guess we could have to just tip these upward for just a bit. still in place. Take them.
You then have one of the special modes invented from the head from the Transformers the Headmaster's cartoon, the ape, the so called Wing Wolf. Yeah, that's right, Wing Wolf. Not the winged wolf, the wing wolf. Pretty weird, huh? We then got the back of the vehicle. It's basically all of the alternate modes fused together. It's got a good roll. We're gonna flip open the the wolf's tongue again. For my version, I'd call it the multi mode. I would basically call it the multi mode, and we're gonna like bring the headmaster back in into his original spot here to to make to, to save face. For this mode, he's like a—it's basically a wolfy flying jack car tank. It's all the ultra modes fused together. For the multi mode version, it—it it would also include the other uh, four alternate modes, the additional ones, except one of them. He flies. He does a lot of that stuff. It's very powerful too. Okay, with now with that said, um, we're gonna hold on. I gotta <laughs> get this. We'll flip this guy back out. We're gonna move on to the next mode. And this next mode, um, many of you are probably gonna be happy that I decided to incorporate it into my version. Hey, I just did it for you guys. So be thankful for me, okay? Get out of the way, let's get to it. And let's see what that ultra mom I'm talking about. So, um, for the summary, you have to like, you have to like, bring the wolf head and the, um, f the wings together to form them into fin, into upper, into vertical, into, uh, verticality fins. Does this sound familiar? Well, for this, I'm going to, like, bring the arms back down, do this, wait, <laughs> um, that, Okay, now we take the, 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 the legs. You're about to see what I'm talking about. Has it finally come to this moment? Hold on here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta fold these down. Okay, and now, oh, and you have the one, the only, the energy cannon or turret. Yeah. I know. It's the gun. 
The only thing it's missing is these. There we go. Now it is the great gun that Six Shot once was. He could like change into, into this mode, stand somewhere within this mode, and then hot shot and pocket shot any Autobot or Decepticon from afar. Boom, 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 boom. He can also six shoot. Basically, he's got this configuration where he's able to one, two, three, four, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. He could six shoot. It's implied to his name, six shot. There's not much to say about it other than that this little landing, this landing gear here could also be used as like a holding thing for a rifle version. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And these little wheels here would, would be like charging cylinders for charging cyclers for six shots gun mode. So with that said, let's now take a look at his final alternate mode. And this one, you're probably gonna like. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna we're gonna like remove them from the gun. Save them for later. Hold on. We're gonna like pull this these wings tips back in. We're gonna take this back out. We're gonna like pull these in. Take the wings. Put this down. We're gonna extend these back out. We're gonna fold these, the barrel, the six shooter, the four shooter barrels, and we're gonna take those little, those little template, those little front tips out, back out. We're gonna fold them back into place. Wait, am I doing this one? I don't think so. Then you want to take his some um, the six shot loop here and reopen his mouth. Ow. Hold on, I might not be doing something right here. Can't 
can't remember how I put this out. No, 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 no! <sighs> Hold on. Now we got it. You might be thinking, hey, what is this? Well, my friends, my... This... Is what I like to call a base. Because Six Shot doesn't really have any real base mode, and since his wings, like, or were meant to attach to bases, I decided to decide to um, make a custom base mode. So then I'm gonna take this Headmaster figure, and you can actually put these figures like here. You can put them there. You can put them like a, like a driver spot, depending on the nation you live in. You can also put them in here. You can like close them up. But yeah, this is like kind of like a base mode. It could technically fly, but kind of fly similar to that of a fortress. But this is, alas, this is his base mode. This is this is basically his custom, his last custom mode, and that's his base mode. You could, I have the Titan Master up here. Yeah. Now let's talk about the Titan Master before we go on to the last robot, into the final mode. He's pretty small. This Titan Master is named Revolver. He grants six shots all all forms of combat. Not only that, but the body of um, Revolver is is a ref is itself is actually a reference to one of Six Shot's Headmaster's cartoon victims named Jack. And if you like, um, you like fold him into robot. Uh, you like. Fold the character up into robot mode, like this. You can see a little kaiju up here. This kaiju translates to six. See that little thing on his forehead? It translates to six. They took a lot of inspiration out of the Headmaster's cartoon. So let's get on with his um, last mode. And Six, by the way, that basically references Six Shot himself. Now we're gonna, like, bring him into his last mode, which is probably obvious right now. It's the robot mode. So we're gonna fold this down. Convert his barrel gun, his inner gun barrels, back into legs. Hold this down. Bring these up. Arms. 
do the same here. And then you have six shots robot mode, albeit without his head. That's where his head with the six kaiju band comes into play. <coughs> so we're going to like put him in back in here in his rightful spot. And he can also be, um, he can also not be, a, he can also be attached to the head and still transform too. That's cool. This is Six Shots Robot Mode. His main robot mode. His primary mode. I've already shown you his articulation. I could show it again. He can like swing his arms up and down. He's looking at the camera right now and says, hey, he's saying, hey, where's my guns? Okay, we're gonna... Here. These are his little pistols. His single barrel pistols. Yeah, the pistols basically, yeah, the pistols, they're his double, they're his double, he has dual single barrel pistols too, but um, also, you can also remove one of the pistols and merge it with the other one. And you get a single double barrel pistol. Like this. Take a look at how that looks. A single double barrel pistol. It also works in both ways. Oh, hold on. There we go. And now we're going to put this here. As they do say, Six Shot is one of the most challenging Transformers ever from Hasbro. Or well, and Takara told me if you want to add them too. They picked up a lot on him pretty pretty well. And before we go, let's see one last kind of form the um pistol can really do. Is it really just a pistol? I don't really think so because you can also like take them apart and fold them to get and bring them together on one or the other ends. You could like do this like this. You could bring it up this way and it looks kind of like a rifle now. Kind of looks like a rifle.
can be done the opposite way. Can we? Yeah, and also works this way too. The army in places. Also work this way, this way too. way too. Well, that's the toy. Basically, now that's basically the toy of Six Shot. One of the most challenging Transformers, Transformers of them all. Hasbro and Takara Tommy. So, what do you think? Um, do you think this character is pretty well and designed? And do you think he's... Um, do you think this the various uh, custom additional ultra modes um, were a great fit for him? Please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future updates and, and um, new videos that may be released whenever. And um, I'll and six and I, six shot and I will be um, will be glad to see you. Is that right, six shot? Ninja consultant. Now you know who I am. Look out!